Hello guys, this is your midterm test preview. Your midterm test is for 20% of your final grade. The midterm test has 60 points and is a one hour writing exam. If you want to get an A, you need to score 90% or above. So 90% of 60 points is 54 points. Section one is from unit one. It is all the personal questions from page four. The questions we used were from meeting people for the first time. Please use full sentences and also don't write any Korean. Question one, what's your name? So for example, you write my name is Park Ji Sung or my name is Ji Sung Park. Please do not write Korean, write in English, please. Question two, where are you from? So you could say I'm from Suwon in Korea or I'm from Suwon in Gyeonggi-do. Again, please write full sentences. Same style. Where do you live? So I live in Gwonsondong in Suwon. I live in Cheonchondong in Suwon. I live in Gangnam in Seoul. Please write full sentences. What do you do? Musanil Haseo. So three parts. I'm a student at Dongnam Health University. My major is nursing. My major is business studies. My major is occupational therapy. How old are you? Nusalieo. So again, please write in full sentences. I am 21 years old. I am 30 years old. If you just write 30, then you'll get no points. Next question. When's your birthday? So again, write full sentence. My birthday is on the day, month, year. So my birthday is on the 12th of April, 1981. Tell me about your family. Please just write one sentence. So I have two younger brothers and no sisters. So that's okay, that's enough. Next question, Musin Chimichiwa Seo, what are your favorite hobbies? Please write in a full sentence and give me three hobbies. And always remember ING, ING, ING. So things like cooking, Traveling, playing computer games, shopping, eating, reading books, listening to music. Same style for food, please. Musunum Shikchua Seo. What are your favorite foods? My favorite foods are maybe things like curry, pizza, and gamjatang. Again, you can write Korean foods in English. What is your dream? Please write a full sentence. So my dream is to be rich. My dream is to be a good doctor, a good nurse. My dream is to travel the world. My dream is to be happy. What is your email address? Again, full sentence. My email address is then using at and dot. One last question. What is your phone number? Again, full sentence. My phone number is zero one zero. Part two, this is from unit two, and on page 22, the question is, introduce your family. So tell me about your family. This is your mother, your father, your brothers, and your sisters. Or if you are married, your husband, wife, and children. So for each person, I want you to tell me their name, their age, their job. Talk about their appearance, what they look like maybe their personality and their hobbies. So this is for 10 points. Part three is 3.5 on page 29. Same as your textbook. This is for eight points for eight questions. So we're going to use always, usually, sometimes, and never. So give me an example. So number one, I always mm, take a shower in the morning. Number two, I never Go to the library at the weekend. Same style as what we did in class. 
Part four is again from unit three on page 32. The question is, what do you usually do in the morning? So again, we're going to use always, usually, sometimes, and never. So tell me your morning story. What time do you wake up? And then what do you do? Do you take a shower? Do you get dressed, have breakfast, watch TV? So tell me your morning story. Part four, we're going to talk about our past. So on 4.12, page 50 for 10 points, the question is, tell me about your best vacation. So I want you to tell me where you went, when did you go there, who did you go with, how did you get there, where did you stay, what did you see and do, maybe what did you buy, what did you eat, who did you meet, and how did you feel? So this is a past tense question. And last one. In unit five, we talked about the future. On page six, for eight points, we have this question. What are your plans for the future? So tell me your hopes or dreams. You can think about things like, what are you going to do tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, next week, next year, two years, five years, 10 years, 25 years. Time is not important, but just talk about your hopes and dreams for the future. Okay guys, so this is your midterm tests. It's only for 20 points. So I hope everybody will get A or B. Nobody will get F. If you need any help or want me to check your work, please send me a message on Kakao or try and get me on Facebook or even on email. And you can find all my contact details on page four. So good luck guys, don't stress, try your best. And thank you very much for being great students so far. Good luck.